In this episode, Everyday Home Hacks. Some of you may have this problem where you have a fairly big bin and a plastic bag that doesn't fit inside the bin. Now, to solve this problem, all you need is a couple of hooks with double-sided tape on the back, and then you wanna stick it on each side of the bin. So that's one side done, and then you wanna do the same thing on the opposite side. Go ahead and stick the other side on. Now you have a secure plastic bag that's not gonna fall inside the bin. That's all there is to it. So not only are these hooks useful for that, you can also do this where if you want to separate your waste, you can just grab another plastic bag, put it in this empty side here, hook it onto the hooks again. Now you have two separate compartments in your bin. So now you can recycle. Ta-da! So say you have a situation where you have a cord stuck under the table and you don't want to lift the table up because it's got a whole bunch of stuff on the table and it's too heavy and the cord is attached to something else. How are you going to unravel it? Well, I'm going to teach you guys, I'm going to teach you. Very simple. So all you need to do is get a little bit of slack in your cord, twist it. You have to twist it this way guys, okay? Otherwise it's not going to work. Then you get this bit here, put it underneath the leg of the table, put this end of the cord underneath the loop like this, give both ends a pull, and just like that, I have released my cord. With this next hack, I'm going to teach you how to make a toilet paper roll dispenser. Very, very easy. You just need a tissue box, double-sided tape, some rubber bands, some scissors and toilet paper. So I've got a used tissue paper box here and I've opened the flaps like that so that later I can put my toilet paper roll inside the box. Get your rubber bands, just tie them around the top and one at the bottom. And this will hold the outside of your toilet paper nice and secure. Next, just cut the cardboard roll. Now that should make it nice and easy to pull out of the paper. So next thing, you want to pull the tissue out of the middle, and slide it inside your box like this, and then you want to thread the end of your toilet paper out the top of your box. Get yourself some double-sided tape to re-stick the box together. And now I have an endless supply of toilet paper. You can paint your box if you want. You can get creative. It's completely up to you. And it's kind of recycling your tissue paper box. Eh? Yes. So a simple way to hang your paper towels is to simply use a coat hanger. You need some pliers so that you're able to cut the center of the coat hanger here. Now next thing, grab your paper towel and then you put one end in there and then you put the other end in there. And there you have it, a paper towel hanger. <laughs> now if you need to sun your pillows or soft toys or whatever, I'm going to teach you a simple way to make shift your own little rack if you don't have a clothes rack. All you need is a couple of wired coat hangers and some zip ties and scissors. So you want to find the middle of each coat hanger, then you want to tie your zip tie around the coat hangers like so. Once you have tied your two coat hangers together, you just pull it, okay, like this. So this is now going to cap your pillow and you can just hang this anywhere you like. Now, obviously I've got some railing going on here, so if I were to try and hang that there, it's not going to work, that's okay. You can get yourself either a broom or a mop or some kind of a pole, which I have right here. This is our boom pole. <laughs> just thread that into the railing like that. You just need to have a space where you can hang your pillow on the pole like that. Very simple. You won't have a dirty pillow. It doesn't have to lie on the floor or rub against anything. Great way to sun your pillows, people. So sometimes it's really hard to sweep up fine dust or hair into the dustpan. So I'm going to teach you a simple trick to collect all those fine particles. Alright, so all you need is some tape. Cut yourself off a piece, maybe as long as your broom head. So I've gone ahead and I've stuck my tape on the end of my broom like that. So now when I sweep, all the fine dust and hair is going to stick on the tape. Ew. So that took absolutely no effort. I just swept it once and look at all the dust it's collected. 
Now, I know I've shown you a few hacks before where I show you how to remove stickers. Well, guess what, guys? I have just learned another one. These hacks are endless, baby. Endless. So usually when you peel a sticker off, it's going to probably tear bit by bit and it can be really annoying. I'm going to teach you another hack to remove stickers easily. This is especially useful for kids that like to stick stickers everywhere. So all you need to have is some dishwashing liquid and some cling wrap. You just need a piece big enough to cover the sticker. All you need to do is dab a little dishwashing liquid onto your finger. Cover your sticker with the liquid. Put your glad wrap over the sticker like that and let it sit for about 15, 20 minutes. And what that does, it loosens up the stickiness and paper of your sticker. And so later it will be much easier to take off. I'm just gonna simply remove the cling wrap off my sticker and then I remove the sticker. Look at how easy it is. Check it out. Oh, look at that baby. Boom! So now, just grab a tissue, wipe off the extra soap. Beautiful, look at that. Brand new table, and no stickers, no sticky residue. Nice and smooth, baby. And that is it for this episode. Now don't forget to check out our merch at iDesigned at tandemmerch.com. Hopefully you'll find something you like. You can follow me on Instagram at rjt99. And if you like this video, subscribe and hit that bell so that you can get notified every time a video comes out. Or you can just simply download the free Click Network app to watch the videos before they hit YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys. Mwah!